So there is a new SG Scratchy, which is very, very interesting because a lot of people like Shiva as a character. And so in this SG Scratchy, you can actually get her cosplay as well as the very important chair. So I know a lot of people really want her chair. But before we jump into all of that, there is another PSO2 Kami code. I'm sure a bunch of you guys have already bought everything in the shop and you're like, why are they still giving us codes? But you know what? I'm not going to complain for more codes. So again, we're going to run straight to our purple VisiPhone right here and press E on it. We're going to go to item codes and we're going to type in the following code. It's going to be 1PVRNYAFW387JNU4. Then click send and boom, another PSO2 Kami memory. For those who forgot where to use the PSO2 Kami memory, you simply run to the red light district and then at the middle NPC there is the memory exchanger and then you'll be able to use the PSO2 Kami memory in order to exchange for uh, whatever cosmetic items or voice lines or whatever you want really. It's super duper easy. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily. So if you do play this game, I'd really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is I know I promised that I was going to be teaching people how to make crack as well as veterans resolve in today's video. But uh, because the SG Scratchy just came out, I want to talk about that first. So that video will be pushed back till tomorrow. And uh, for those who are actually playing the market right now, the prices are very, very volatile. So do be a little bit careful when crafting these and selling this on the market. The prices may spike. They may crash. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, just do it at your own risk. Okay. But anyway, today's video is all about the true end game and that is fashion. So let's hop over to my second monitor to talk about the fashion. So as usual, we're going to watch the trailer first and then we're going to go through all the pieces of fashion, which look interesting. So the music is pretty whoop 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 here, but of course we can cosplay as Shiva. I love Shiva's hair. I love how there's the uh... There's the gradient or something. I don't know what this is called in English, but yeah, this gradient from like pink to blue to, to white or pink to white to blue. It's really, really nice. I really like the gradient. And we can even take a sneak peek at Shiva's innerwear. It's very, very nice. Then we've got Varuna. I don't like Varuna. Varuna kicks my ass all the time in a Divide quest, so I don't like this guy. He, uh, he's too good. He's got weird feet, though. Look at that. What the hell's wrong with his feet? He's got freaking, like, freaking Minecraft feet. His feet look normal here, and then they're just Minecraft feet. I really like Mitra. Mitra's uh, look just looks so nice. I just like this look. It's hoodie, edgy, super duper nice. She's got normal feet as well. Not like freaking Varuna's roadblock beats. This is Xiao. I don't know why his name is that, but I mean, I'm sure. Lore, yeah. Photons, of course. I like this person too. She looks hot. So, it's actually very funny over here. Later on, you're gonna notice that they don't show her innerwear. Right here, you see? They only show her outerwear and her basewear. She actually has innerwear. I'm gonna show you why they don't show it in the video later, because her inner wear is mm, top notch. Wow, Sakuna Hime Divine. I haven't seen her since like episode three or something. She's back, wow. In case you guys haven't noticed, I haven't played the story yet, so I don't know what the heck is going on. This guy looks cool. Kotoshiro Guardian, Kotoshiro Guardian. Dude, he's like freaking Raiden, man, but like blonde. <laughs> and he's got bare feet. But uh, yeah, this guy looks pretty cool. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. This Shiva Iris pattern is going to go for a lot of money. Shiva's hair is going to go for a lot of money. Oh, wait a second. This is an SG Scratch ticket, which means none of these are tradable. Oh, internal screaming. This, uh, this makes me very sad that none of this is tradable because there are so many cosmetics here that look so amazing. Look at that face. Does this face not look like new Genesis graphics? I don't know. Something about her face just looks really new Genesis. -y. Oh, look at this spirit realm. So pretty. Here we go. Shiva's throne. Okay, it's not a chair. It's a throne. 
But, uh, I call it a chair. It looks like a chair to me, sort of. And look at this katana skin, man. It's so big. So cool. And we've got, uh, Guide to the Annihilation weapon camo. Does Shiva actually fight? I don't actually know. I haven't played the story yet. Look at that. The freaking she bomb. That's freaking amazing. They've got her floating over here, just silently judging us. She's like, freaking arts trash. Love it. Beautiful. Oh my god, look at that flame effect there. I don't really understand these emotes. So, like the Tsukuna Hime, she's got so many emotes. But here's emote one, right? Pose male and female. And then we've got pose two, again, male and female. I don't actually know what's going on. on and then there's pose three, male and female. Like, how many poses does she have? What? And like, the male and female kind of look the same? Okay, I guess there's a little bit of variance. But anyway, as I said earlier, that this is an SG scratch ticket, which is a star gem scratch ticket, which means the items are not tradable. All of these items will be bound on account, which uh, is a little bit sad, makes me kind of sad. But uh, we got to scroll down to uh, the most important one. Look at this. Silence Lied Innerware. <laughs> this, this is my type of innerware right here. Like, um, that would be pretty dope if I got that in one scratch. That would be really funny. But as you can see, there are a lot of really high value items here. Like Shiva's hair. The Shiva's eyes, I don't like how they colored it here. I liked it a lot more in the trailer, where it was like actually one-to-one -to, -one to Shiva's eyes. Uh, Mitra's gloves, interesting. And then we've got the spirit sword camo over here. It looks weird in the picture, it looks kind of squashed. But like when we saw it in the trailer, it looks a lot nicer. Um, we've got the Guide of Annihilation, I don't know much about this weapon. And then we've got this sword skin, so it's like, eh, it's alright. As for item enhancements over here, nothing really special, so uh, yeah, nothing really useful here. Consumable items, there are, all of these are EX versions, which are very nice, which means they can apply on top of your regular boosters. And then in the personal quarters, we've got Shiva's Throne. People who get this are automatically going to just become like 100% better players in immediately, instantly, you know? moment you get Shiva's Throne, you just become a better player. It's scientifically proven. So, uh, yeah, this chair is going to be sought out. When you have it, you better flex it. Better let everyone know that you've got Shiva's Throne. Because you bet everyone is going to visit your room to try to get a screenshot of them sitting on the throne and being really badass. Um, as for music, we've got a whole bunch of different music over here. I don't actually know any of these, but yeah, I like Good Job My Friend. Maybe this one will sound good. The name sounds good. And then we've got all the different emotes. So as usual, there are bonus rewards. However, you do need to scratch 40 tickets in order to get the selector or, you know, the ticket that allows you to pick whatever emote you want, which is the versus A ticket. All right. So that's 40 scratches and each scratch will cost you 80 star gems. So you're going to need to scratch 3,200 star gems in order to guarantee a specific item that you want. However, you do get rewarded as a couple things. You get the uh, Varuna pose and you also get this uh, katana. I don't even know. Is this a katana? This uh, sword katana looking skin thing for uh, 20 scratches and all this other stuff, right? But yeah, 40 scratches in order to guarantee whatever you want from the scratch. Probably the Shiva hair or the throne, you know, those are pretty highly sought out items. Or maybe even the eyes as well. But there are a lot of items here. Now, of course, we have an updated fun scratch. We've got the camera head. That's pretty dope. We've got the nobles. -la 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 -la. That's pretty weird as well. And we've got a whole bunch of other troll things. So uh, as usual, you know, the fun scratch has always been full of the troll stuff. However, we can also get the music disc cafe area. So uh, this, I think, sounds pretty chill. So that could be something that you might want to go for. Now, Sega's very smart because they know that we're going to need a lot of star gems in order to guarantee whatever cosmetics that we want from the versus annihilation. They actually have an SG campaign going on right now where it rewards you for buying SG. So if we scroll down right here, if you purchase more than 100 SG, you'll be rewarded a Rappy Fever bonus key as well as 1 mil EXP. 
If you purchase 1,000 SG, you get a 45% augmentation aid. And if you purchase 2,000 SG, you will get this ready great sort of emote over here. So, you know, it's a nice little bonus over here, but I personally will not be wasting my AC in order to buy SG. I'll just be using the SG that I saved up. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think I will be going for this scratch as much as I really love the cosmetics, but uh, I need my star gems for new Genesis. But if you do spend your star gems here, it's totally understandable. This is like a really, really nice scratch. I'm just a little bit sad that uh, none of these items are tradable and we can't sell it because I'd be more than happy to drop a bunch of Masetta in order to get like the Shiva cosplay or the Shiva throne. I really want that Shiva throne. Haha, <laughs> you puny mortals. I have achieved superiority as I now have this chair. This is uh, not actually my room. One of my guild members pulled for it and was like, Hey, Caro, I heard you really wanted this throne. Would you like to make your outro here? And I was like, heck yeah. So uh, yeah, as you can see over here, you can sit on the throne or on the chair so you can move off over here. It is a little bit high. I don't know why the chair floats so high, but it is like that. So you can run up to the chair, click E and sit and voila, you'll sit on it. And then you could just change your camera angle in order to get whatever lighting or whatever angle you want. And yeah, this throne is freaking amazing. But anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the